effects of that for a while. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. Yeah, if it keeps working, keep working. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. He's inflicting some serious pain here. King, I have to ask you, with your impressive win loss record, what does it take to beat a brute like Roman Reigns? We're looking at two individuals who know one another so well. Just what's needed from him here to be victorious. He is locked in a robbery for the ages right now. It is a classic. Enough said. You can feel the bad blood flowing between these rivals in this match. The tension is palpable. Attack right to the back. That's it for Roman Reigns tonight. I don't think I've ever seen Reigns taken down like that before. Seth Rollins has in this business what we call all the tools. Rollins is lightning fast. He can get on that mat and wrestle. He can brawl. He can soar through the air. Oh, did I say? Seth Rollins is fearless. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. Where well, Rollins, and all of his ability, represents the future of WWE. All of the success Seth Rollins has experienced is only the beginning. If you don't believe it, just ask him. He almost took his head off with that lariat. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, my. He's wild in there. And the offensive display by Seth Rollins. Talk about a target. The largest bullseye is always in someone's back. Yeah, that's bad. That can turn the tide of the entire match. Yeah, things are going to be different from here on out. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Whoa, self reversal by John. It's a bit off his game here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. But it's important to know that this match has been so evenly contested so far, you really can't pick a winner. I couldn't have said it better myself, which is a little scary considering it came from your mouth, JBL. That's one less superstar to deal with. John Cena with a nice reversal. Cena pushing forward. He's on the defensive here. To be expected when you combine six of WWE's most volatile forces into one match. Here's the deal with this guy. You can knock him around all you like, but he's just going to keep getting up and coming back at you. Oh, it's been a great matchup to this point, and this could really go either way. When this guy's on, look out. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? One move after the other. It's devastating. This is hard to watch. This is going to be bad. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Look out. There's a target on that back. See the pain shoot through the superstar's body off that slam. And down goes Cena. Oh man, that looked bad for Cena, Michael. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Somehow, he's, he's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. Oh my gosh, this is awful. I'm gonna tell you something. Whenever you get hit like that, for the next 15 minutes, every time Cena's been eliminated. I didn't expect that. These type of matches are so unpredictable. Incoming! Seth Rollins is looking for the decisive end. He's looking a little off balance. This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. Well, these guys aren't getting an inch, but at some point, one of them got to start pulling away, which is what we might be seeing right now. A 
snap reversal. Well, as much as the side of this gives me gastrointestinal issues, I give that little flying goat credit, Dan. Look out, oh, look out! He finds himself in some big trouble here. He started this match in great health, but now it seems fatigue has set in. At this point, it's hard to say one of these guys is in better shape than the other. This entire match has been so evenly contested. Oh, man. At this point, he's just risking serious injury. I mean, take it from me. One match is just not worth your career. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. And AJ Styles is going to have to improvise. Something needs to change. And at this point, his opponent definitely has that finisher well scouted. Going for it a third time might be a mistake. Well, he's already used his finisher twice. You have to wonder if he's going to go for it a third time. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Nothing.